of musculoskeletal care from prevention and diagnosis to treatment and rehabilitation for every part of the body in both children and adults. Our doctors are able to perform the most advanced treatment options available, including PRP therapy, stem cell, arthroscopic surgery, and microsurgery. At the Orthopedic Center of Palm Beach County, we are dedicated to providing a comprehensive solution to get you back to your routine as quickly as possible in the shortest period of time with the least amount of inconvenience. With three beautiful new offices located in Lake Worth, Poynton Beach, and Wellington, we are able to provide much needed care to families in the South Florida area. Give us a call at 561-967-6500. From our experienced physicians to the most advanced treatment options to our state-of-the-art facilities and excellent support staff, the Orthopedic Center of Palm Beach County is committed to providing you with the very best care. Call us at 561-967-6500 or find us at www.ocpbc.com. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Welcome to Stay Alive and Fit with Liz Goodman, a new innovative radio show that taps into what's happening now in the medical industry, featuring fitness experts, foodies, and medical professionals. Get it right here and be an active participant in your health. Mixed messages about what is best for your health can make you feel like you're on a runaway train. So hop on and have some fun while Liz navigates this medical mystery ride. Call 888 888- 565-1470 and ask Liz, your source for the latest medical technology and long life advice. All aboard, here's Liz Goodman. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Stay Alive and Fit with Liz Goodman. Tonight, I have a couple of special guests on the show with me. His name is Dr. Love. He had his own broadcast for many, many, many years. He is the guru of Chinese medicine. Uh, he talks all about your chi and, and energy mastery and all sorts of uh, uh, traditional Chinese medicine and how it benefits your breathing and meditation and internal exercise. The qigong, he calls it, the qigong. We're going to hear about acupuncture, which is traditionally called meridian therapy. But before we get to Dr. Love, and I know you can see him on the air, so just welcome Dr. Love. Say a quick hello. Hi, everybody. I want to tell you about a very special guest of mine who was supposed to be here tonight, and we did talk about last week that he would be here. It's uh, J.B. Benzmehan. He's the former owner of Boca Home Care uh, here in Boca Raton and Private Care Association of Florida. He's now currently running for campaign uh, for a campaign in St. Petersburg, Florida. I'll let his campaign manager, Matt, uh, who's going to be calling at about 6.05, tell us about it. JB couldn't be here because he was needed for the campaign trail. But uh, why I asked JB to be on the show to begin with is because this is a show about being healthy and fit. And JB is one of the strongest people that I know. He was born with cerebral palsy. Um, and at a very young age, he was told that he would never overcome his illness and that he would never amount to much. And not only did he amount to something superhuman and supernatural and just amazing, he, he made change for health reform in Canada. He came to this country, opened up home care agencies to help others with ailments and health issues. And now he's running for a position uh, where he can continue to help people get the help they need with their health care and I tremendously respect him and uh, he's become a very dear friend and I wish he could have joined me tonight but instead uh, I have his camp man- pain manager who I think it sounds like has just called in um, so let me see my producer is telling me I think he's on the phone is he on the phone yes we've got Matt on the phone welcome Matt I don't know if you were able to hear the opening that I just gave you are you there I just called in how are you doing Good, good. Hold on. We've got a, uh, a radio bloop going on here. Blooper, blooper. Uh, we've got Dr. Love in the room who forgot to shut his sound off on his uh, on his phone. So I apologize, Matt. But I just explained that JB is a very, very dear friend of mine. And he's overcome severe, you know, 
issues with his own cerebral palsy growing up as a child. He was was able to make tremendous change in Canada, then came here and opened up Boca Home Care. And he's doing whatever he can to help uh, other people get better health care. And that's why he's running. So I, unfortunately, now that he can't be here, I just wanted you to tell our listeners a little bit about who JB is, why he's running, and, you know, all the wonderful things he's done to help the community. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I really apologize that JB is not on uh, with you today. We had a scheduling conflict. There's a forum that uh, he's at with his opponent right now. And uh, so he asked me to step in. I hope that your listeners won't hold that against him. Excuse Uh, me, Matt, do you mind speaking a little bit louder? I don't know if it's just in the room here or, um, but I'm having a hard time hearing you. Absolutely. Um, Apologize that JB uh, was not able to call in. He's in a forum with his opponent right now. And uh, so I'm stepping in. I hope that your viewer or your listeners won't uh, hold that against him. But yes, JB was born with uh, cerebral palsy in 1969. uh, And he had over uh, over a dozen surgeries over the course of his first 15 years of life uh, to correct uh, some walking issues. Uh, essentially, the doctors upon uh, birth uh, told his parents that he would never walk or talk. Uh, fast forward 47 years, JB uh, walks, uh, however, with two canes, um, but he actually did a half marathon in Miami uh, just earlier this year. He uh, is a great public speaker, um, incredibly brilliant uh, man. Uh, he had built a home health care business in South Florida mm-hmm. um, and made it uh, into a million, multi-million dollar business. He has uh, four great children, uh, an 18-year-old son, and then triplets, uh, two girls and a boy who are 15. Um, he, um, was, uh, he sold his business in South Florida and uh, moved to St. Petersburg to uh, open another uh, home health care business because uh, of his non-compete with his former business. And uh, so he got up to St. Petersburg and decided um, to start getting involved, and he noticed that there were uh, no one running in the, um, uh, against the incumbent for the state house in St. Pete, a gentleman named Dwight, Dwight, Dwight Dudley. So I'm sorry, Matt. Can you hold on one second, please? Dr. Love, Dr. Love, Dr. Love, can you off. please shut your phone up? Sorry, listeners out there. I'm so sorry because you're giving such a great, eloquent um, description of all the wonderful things that JB is doing. But we had a phone that just kept on talking over and over you. So just to make it really brief, um, JB is running. He chose to run in St. Petersburg because he felt that that's the community in the area that can really best uh, be helped from his services. And what exactly, very briefly, is he campaigning to help them do? And um, and then I want to talk very quickly about the book that he is going to be launching because, you know, again, you know, he's just overcome so many things. I've met, you know, I've, I'm, I'm good friends with him. You can barely tell that he's an ill man, really. I mean, there's nothing about him that would ever give away that this man has anything that would ever hold him back from accomplishing anything. And he's such an inspiration to others. And I hope in any future programming I do, whether it be on television, which is where I'm hoping to take this program, or future radio, that he will come here and, and speak with my, my listeners. But very briefly, Matt, you know, what is the agenda um, how can anybody in that area vote for him if they want to on Election Day and uh, what this new book is going to be about? Yeah, absolutely. His, his focus is definitely on health care. Uh, he wants to make sure that people have access to health care, that it's an open market for people to have access to health care. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is in favor of Medicaid expansion because uh, people with disabilities, that's the first um, area where they can get access if, they, uh, if they're not able to work. Um, that's Medicaid is the first spot, and so he wants to make sure that there's access to uh, to funds there for uh, for Floridians. Um, he is running in St. Petersburg, Pinellas Park, and Lelman uh, in in Pinellas County, Florida. Uh, you can vote on Election Day, November eighth. Uh, your precinct. You must be registered to vote uh, by November eleventh in Pinellas County uh, and in the district. Mm-hmm. Um, and he uh, there's also early voting from the uh, 24th of October through uh, the 6th of November, uh, and that can be done at any any of the three polling places in Pinellas County Mm -hmm. um, uh, before that, or you can go go, uh, vote by mail. Uh, If you can visit Joseph Bensmian, J-O-S-E-P-H-B-E-N-S-M-I-H-E-N.com, that is his website, and you can also visit votepinellas.com. 
to uh, learn about how to register to vote and where your polling locations might be. Uh, as far as JB's book, it is coming out in the spring. It is uh, titled Taking Your Place at the Table because JB learned from an early age that people weren't going to invite him to the table. They weren't going to, um, his life was not going to be easy and he wasn't going to be able to be part of a conversation unless he just jumped in and sat down. So uh, that is his, uh, his book. It's about some of the, his experiences from an early age, as early as seven, all the way up through uh, his mid forties. And uh, it's, it's going to be quite, quite a book. And I encourage your, uh, your listeners to read it. And I'm sure JD would be happy to come on your show um, down the road or whether it's on TV or radio is. Thank you, Matt. And I love his enthusiasm, his drive, his relentless, you know, go-getter attitude. I mean, that's how we connect. We're both like, last night at 3 in the morning, we were texting each other back and forth about, you know, the things I wanted to talk about on his program. So, I mean, he's just one of those people like myself who's always up, always going, always looking to help others. I mean, this program is called Stay Alive and Fit for a Reason. It's about helping others stay alive, healthy, and fit. And, you know, Matt, I don't want to destroy your name, but I think it's Letelier. Is that correct? Actually, it's Lettler. It's like Lettler. It looks. Sorry, Matt. So one no of the problem. things that I that that JB mentioned to me, which I did want to touch upon, which is even though he's a Republican and he's running as a Republican candidate, a lot of his philosophies dealing with Medicaid and Medicare are very Democratic, you know, thought processes, and and that's what makes him so unique. That he he is running for a party, but he's looking out for everyone, and and you know that's what makes him a great a great man and a great candidate. And I do hope. Uh, candidate, and I do hope that uh, people will go out and vote. This show is seen on YouTube Live. It is Ustream, so anybody who's watching it at www.stayaliveandfit.com can see it and listen to it at the same time. Anybody who wants to call in to talk to us tonight, it's 888-565-1470. Thank you so much, Matt. Do you have any final words? Uh, nope, just uh, vote for JB on November 8th or before. Thank you very much for having it. Thanks, Matt. Thank you so much. And so now I'm going to take a quick ba- break, and we're going to come back with Dr. Love, the doctor who's going to teach you all about why Chinese medicine is the way to go. Stay to alive internalize. and fit is your weekly dose of information about health, wealth, fitness, or food, so you can live longer, age gracefully, and stay alive and fit. Stay tuned. Liz will be right back. Don't turn that dial, or you just might miss this week's healthy hot tip. Introducing VIP Event Production Group. New York, L.A., and South Florida join together to become the upcoming VIP Premier Event and Decor Production Company. We are an in-house, full-service, quality social and corporate design team with a combined 60 years experience. For your convenience, we have a complete showroom with floral, lighting, room draping, and dance floor wrapping designs. Our staff includes event coordinators, videographers, photographers, along with DJs and entertainment. To complement your event, we have an online website with promotional items and party favors. To book your event, call 888-727-8997 or go online to vipproductiongroup.com. Welcome to Stay Alive and Fit with Liz Goodman. So tonight is going to be my last broadcast on the radio for a while. There's a lot of exciting things that are going to be coming my way. You'll stay tuned to Stay Alive and Fit at stayaliveandfit.com and on our Facebook page, and you will learn more about some really exciting things happening in the future. I mentioned a little bit about it last week where we're going to get a little wowed, and I'll let you know more about that later. But tonight I've got Dr. Dr. Love. Just love that name, Dr. Love. And he's an experienced radio broadcaster. But what's so great about him is when I first came on the show, I talked about the fact that I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, and the sight of blood makes me squeal. But my passion is to help VIP bring VIP medicine to the masses and to marry the East and Western medicines. And Dr. Love is really the first doctor that I've had on the show who is traditionally Chinese medicine trained. And uh, he's going to talk about all the things that happen within our meridian and how the circulation of blood and chi all, you know, takes effect. And, And one of the things we talked about earlier is how 
you know, Chinese medicine differs from regular medicine as it has to do with helping your inner breathing and your inner tranquility and acupuncture and all sorts of things like that. So I'm going to kick it to Dr. Love, who's going <laughs> to yell at me right now and tell me I've screwed it all up or because I don't know a lot about Chinese medicine, but I want to learn more. So okay. please let our listeners so, know more. All right, so let's start at the beginning. Chinese medicine is 5,000 years old. Western medicine is about 140 years old. Right. In terms of longevity, which one has more weight? Well, I'm all about the acupuncture okay. and the Chinese medicine okay. myself. So Acupuncture is just a tool. I have 10 tools in my medicine bag. So calling me by the name of my tool is an insult. Oh, did so I do that? So you would not call a car mechanic the wrench man. You wouldn't call the carpenter the sawman. So what did right? I call you? You called me the acupuncturist. Oh, I thought I called you okay. the doctor of traditional Chinese medicine. Okay. Now, in China, <laughs> Chinese medicine is called the science of longevity. Oh. In India, Ayurveda is the science of longevity. Okay. Okay. So the science of keeping you alive a really long time. So in Western medicine, what do we use? We use actual medicine. To no, help keep we us alive. Drugs and surgery. Right, that's what I meant. Actual medicine, like okay, drugs that's and not, surgery. Okay, drugs and surgery is not actual medicine. Okay. Okay. The word doctor means teacher. Okay. So I have to teach you how to be in harmony with your environment. Gotcha. With your diet, your breathing, your meditation, your exercise, your lifestyle. <gasps> Ooh, okay. question for you on that, because I've had quite a few lifestyle medicine doctors on the show where they talk about they don't want to give you medicine. They want it to change your nutritional styles in order to treat you so okay. you'll never need medicine. Is that similar okay. in a way or no? Completely right. different. So the Western mindset is very linear. Mm -hmm. The Eastern mindset is circular. Okay. Okay. So if I have a recipe that uses salt and pepper and ginger and garlic, and then I turn around and say, salt and pepper is medicine. Okay? No, but what if the recipes are plant-based nutrition and it's all about eating plant foods okay. and things like that? All right, forgive me. Chinese food mm -hmm. that we know is not the Chinese food in China. Right. Okay, so picture early 1900s, very, very wealthy, Chinese had big families and lots of employees, and they hired these master chefs to cook for two, three hundred people a day. Mm -hmm. And then the communists came over and shut all that down. And then those guys were out of a job, and they all went and opened up restaurants. <laughs> Which in is today's West. traditional Chinese restaurants. We, exactly. <laughs> I got now, it. And then movies. they tried to poison us with salt and. So if, you, so if you watch these movies about <laughs> Chinese cooking, you'll see how involved it is. Mm -hmm. Now, you compare Chinese cooking to Western medicine and using supplements and trying to tweak with all the nutritional supplements, you're, you're in the Stone Age, buddy. So all that, from my perspective, is completely bogus. But what so, about the sort of nutrition that's based in plant medicine, that's okay, based in plant so, nutrition, okay, so veganism? Allow me to explain. Okay. okay. So in China, the word tong means soup. So if you were a mom and you had eight kids, mm -hmm. you would put medicine in the soup. Because if one kid is sick, eventually all the kids are going to get sick. Okay. So you're going to treat the whole family right. prophylactically in addition to the one who's actually sick. Hmm. Now you have school-age kids. Mm -hmm. If they're in different classrooms, one kid brings... A, something home and then it transfers to another kid who goes to a different school in a different classroom right so that, that and then it ends up with me and then i can't help anybody because i'm coughing my brains out and sick okay, as a dog so that whole thing spreads <laughs> right. so tang which is herbal medicine okay. means treating the whole family with soup so now you like the jewish do with Jewish chicken noodle soup. It's a different kind of healthy okay. treatment, but they <laughs> okay. they all believe that's, in that's that. That's a good idea, but not really. <laughs> okay. okay. So when you ask the question about plant-based food mm -hmm. medicine, that exists already. And the way the Westerners are doing it is like barbaric. It's like Stone Age. So it's completely wrong. Okay. So now, what specifically is wrong about it? Okay. So allow me to explain what's good. Okay. Instead of attacking, let me say what's good all right now do you eat all day long 
I try to eat like small meals all day long. That's what I try to do. Okay, you try. Mm -hmm. You're not Whenever always successful. Whenever I can, right. Okay, now, we've been on the planet 4 million years. Mm -hmm. We started cooking food about 10,000 years ago. So compare 10,000 to 4 million. Right. Okay, so again, which one has more weight? All right? Mm -hmm. Now, when you eat something, what happens to that food? Well, it goes digested through my system. Okay, and how long does that take? A couple hours to process. Fruit would take a couple hours. Salad would take a couple hours. If you eat meat or bread or rice or beans, you're talking five to seven days. Oh, my goodness. I had no idea. And that okay. putrefies in your system, giving you bad breath mm. and body odor. Okay. For which you now need deodorant and mouthwash. Mm. Okay? So now we need chemicals to undo the to smell. Mask. To mask from what we're mm -hmm. eating. Okay, does that make sense to you? But garlic is very healthy, right? And that's something that leaves an odor in your system. But that And onions are healthy, and they leave an odor in your system. But <clears> they're <throat> very healthy. Okay, but if you're a master chef, you use certain spices to offset the garlic, offset the onions. Okay? So what so would be an example of a spice that if you ate garlic... And cumin you, seed. And that would get rid of that in your... In Parsley. Your, interesting. Okay. okay. So this is all great information. Yeah, but, but I'm saying this exists. It's available today for over 150 years. Mm -hmm. But nobody in America or the West has taken the time to learn it. And it's there. It's available. So okay? what's your vision to help patients who come to you? Because I'm we only have about five so minutes left. I'm so glad you asked me that. And I, I want, want to talk about medical Qigong. Okay. Okay? Now, I asked you had you received acupuncture. You said it was too expensive to keep up on a regular basis. For me. A lot of people think that massage is a luxury. Mm -hmm. And they go, I go once a month. I have to go every week. Okay? Now, I, I would teach love to exercise do that. class. <laughs> Every day, I do an hour and a half of exercise, six days a week. Okay. All right? So I put out a lot of energy. I eat a lot of food. Okay. But I put out a lot of energy. Now, wouldn't it be easier for you to learn how to do exercise medicine than hmm. to get massage or acupuncture? So define very quickly, because we have like four minutes, exercise medicine. What is okay. exercise so medicine? So acupuncture is based on the circulation mm -hmm. of chi and blood through carefully defined pathways that we call meridians. Mm. And that whole system is called meridian therapy. And therefore, I have 10 tools. I have heat, pressure, sound, okay. magnets, electricity, red light, laser, cu cupping, which is suction. Cupping. Cupping, which is suction. Is that like the magnet suctioning? No, that's like uh, Michael Phelps in the Olympics with the sucker Yeah, bites. and they suck that. And then, right. Okay. Okay. Cupping, scraping. What does the scraping mean? It's it's uh, usually you take a bone. Let's say you had a swelling on your arm. Mm -hmm. And you're like, what's that swelling? And you go to the doctor and you want him to like do surgery and cut it out. Mm -hmm. Well, I would scrape that every day for five days and it would go away. And you wouldn't need surgery. Because the fascia would then break it down and it would be reabsorbed into the lymphatic system. Okay? Hmm. So again, this form of medicine is thousands of years old. China, Vietnam, Laos, Burma, Thailand. <laughs> I could go on. There's like 15 countries where this is the main form of medicine. You have 2.4 billion Chinese. You only have 300 where, million Americans. Where did you study your art? I went to school in Montreal, Canada. Okay. But I've been doing it for 35 years. I taught at Lincoln Hospital in the Bronx. Okay. I've been in a hospital-based environment. I taught acupuncture school for 10 years. Wow. Okay. I'm the grandfather of acupuncture in the state of Florida. I'm licensed the very first year it was licensed. So how okay? would someone call you or get in touch with you? 561-502- 6200. Listen, Doc, I would love to, I mean, this is really something that I've wanted to do with this show the entire time and I just haven't had the opportunity to have someone like you sitting in the chair next to me and I love to debate this stuff and talk about this stuff but my show has okay. got three minutes left. Okay. So I so want people to be able to contact Qigong. you. So let's talk about Qigong okay. because that's the thing I really want to talk about. I teach every day at the beach, Palmetto Park Road in mm -hmm. the ocean. First class is free. Just come down 7.30 any morning, Monday through Friday. I'm right there. It's a free invitation. Come down, jump into a class. Qigong 
is exercise medicine. It's exercise acupuncture because it moves energy through the meridian system. Okay. And I just explained to you the 10 ways of moving energy. Mm -hmm. But acup uh, acupuncture is only one method. Qigong is a second method. Is that with also with the meditation and the breathing and all of that? Okay. That's not part of the 10 tools. Okay. That's lifestyle medicine. That's something completely different. Okay. Okay. So in terms of, of forms of medicine, there's food as medicine, mm -hmm. there's herbs as medicine, there's meridians as medicine, and then there's Qigong as medicine. So we have four different styles and the diagnosis describes what the problem is. Okay. So very quickly, the difference between Qigong and meridian in two sentences, if you can do it. Qigong works through the meridians. That's how you move energy. Okay, so you go to a gym and you lift weights. Okay. So what are you doing? You're thinking you're building the muscle. You're actually weakening the elbow. Where Qigong is a circular movement that moves energy through the muscle, through the meridian, into the organ, which improves the electromagnetic energy of the nervous system, which then goes to the brain and calms and relaxes your emotional state. So I have a text that came in from a listener. Uh -huh. They wanted to know if they came in to see you in your office and they had an hour with you for them to have you tell us quickly what you would do during that hour. Okay. If there were 10 people who came in to see me with ulcers, there would be 10 different causes of the ulcer. Okay. And I could have 10 different people come with completely different problems and they might all have the same cause. Could you relieve the ulcer without medication, without tradition, with using traditional Chinese medicine versus... Okay, I don't need medicine because the, the medicine is the sound of my voice, the opening of my heart, and the understanding that you have power over your physiology that you don't even realize that you have. I could use water, I could use tea. I could use herbs. I could use a very light touch. I could, I could use qigong massage, which is like so light, you wouldn't even feel it. I could put you to sleep in less and than And you could four reverse minutes. that disease that's taking place within the body. Okay. Disease, again, wrong word. Mm -hmm. It's a process. Okay. okay. So if your hair falls out, is falling hair a disease? Or was there a process where the roots let oh, go? And the that's hair it. Fell My out. show's over. I'm so sorry. Guys, it was a great conversation. It went by so fast. Stay tuned to Stay Alive and Fit and get in touch with Dr. Love on his website. LoveChineseMedicine.com. And thank you so much for listening to me these last few months. You can watch all of our programs and rerun on YouTube at StayAliveAndFit.com. Uh, you can like our Facebook page. Keep in touch with me. Email me at Liz at StayAliveAndFit.com. And stay tuned because it's not over yet, folks. You're going to hear a lot more from Stay Alive and Fit. And you're going to get wowed very soon, I promise. Have a great night. Thanks, Dr. Love. You've been listening to Stay Alive and Fit with Liz Goodman, a new innovative radio show that taps into what's happening now in the medical industry. Featuring fitness experts, foodies, and medical professionals Get it right here and be an active participant in your health. Mixed messages about what is best for your health can make you feel like you're on a runaway train. Get ready to hop aboard again next time for Stay Alive and Fit with Liz Goodman. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management,